Hey guys, hey, it's good to be back with you here again today. We have the Indians of the Athletics in Game 2 of this doubleheader. Lou Brissy is going to be on the mound for the Athletics. I'm going to show you something here in a second as uh, Brissy throws a strike past Ken Kellner. Take a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The entire Philadelphia Athletics bullpen only has seven pitchers, right? <laughs> We're playing a doubleheader today. So I don't know how they did this in real life um, because, I mean... You know, that's pretty rough. 0-2 oh, the count now on Kellner, and there's a ground ball to the left side. Majeski has it, throws to first for the out, one away. Here's Larry Doby, and Doby gets a strike. So Brissy hopefully will continue to throw nothing, nothing but strikes today. And there's a ground ball wide at first through the hole for a base hit. Five strikes in a row now, and that's kind of what happens when they're looking for it. Here's Lou Boudreau, takes a ball away outside, 1-0 and the count. Another one wide, 2-0. and High fly to left field, Vallow has it for the out. There's two away, and here is Joe Gordon. Gordon hits a little ground ball over to Majeski. The third throws to first for the out, and we go to the bottom of the first just like that. Here's Eddie Juice. So, you know, first game of this doubleheader, the uh, Athletics um, uh, came off Conqueror, and uh, here Eddie Juice takes the ball at the uh, bottom of the first inning, and there's another ball in the dirt. Depending on what the Yankees do, the Athletics probably couldn't get into uh, first place after this doubleheader, but they'd be pretty close. It was a ground ball to Boudreau at short, who made the play through to first for the out, one away. Elmer Vallo up there now takes the ball, 1-0 the count. It was a ground ball again to Boudreau, throws to first, two gone. Here's Hank Majeski. He looks at a strike, it's 0-1. There's a fly ball over to right field, and uh, Kennedy goes back, grabs that for the out, and we go to the top of the second inning. Here is Mickey Vernon. Now, Mickey Vernon takes the ball, and then a strike, 1-1 one one the count, and there's a fly ball over to center field. Chapman's got that for the out, one away, and up is uh, D- uh, Dale Mitchell. It's a little pop-up really, really high. That's um, between Fox and Moses, and it ends up being uh, Nellie Fox grabbing that for the out of the second baseman, two away, and here's Bob Kennedy. Kennedy takes the ball low, and then a uh, strike, one and one the count. He fouls that one back. It's one and two on Bob. And two and two is that one apparently missed. Fastball inside, full count now on Kennedy, and that was wide, and he lost him. And so uh, Kennedy's the uh, runner on at first base here for Mike Tresh, the backup catcher for Cleveland, uh, starting again today. Tresh uh, takes a strike, and another strike in the outside edge, Owen to the count on him. There's a ball. The ground ball at the middle of four, base hit, and that moves Kennedy up to uh, second base. It brings up Frank uh, Papish now, who takes a strike quickly, and another strike, Owen to the count. Brissy really throwing strikes today. Pappish lines one down the left field line just foul. 0 and 2 it remains, and there's 1 and 2 now. Is that one missed? A little fly ball over to left field, and uh, it's Valo who's able, just able to get there in time for the out. We go to the bottom of the second inning, and it's Wally Moses for the Athletics. Up against uh, Frank Pappish, and uh, 2 and 0 now the count on Moses. 2 and 1 is that was fouled back, and there's a ground ball to short. Boudreaux has it, throws to first for the out. Boy, he's like a vacuum cleaner out there. He's got a magnet in his glove. Ferris Fain takes the strike and then a ball, 1-1 one one the count. <clears throat> There's a little looper to the right side. Gordon has that for the out, a little line drive. Oh, two outs here, and here's uh, Sam Chapman who takes the strike. There's a ball low, 1-1 one one the count. That's looped down the left field line, and that one lands just foul. 1-2 and two now the count on Chapman. It's high and inside. It's 2-2 two and two on him. And that's a ball high. Full count now on Sam Chapman, and that's low and away, and that's going to be a walk. Up next will be Nellie Fox with the runner on a first base for the Athletics. And there's a ball in there to Fox. Fox now hitting 314. He's really come open as of late. And we had uh, Chapman going, but that was fouled away, so 1-1 one one the count. That's way high. 2-1 and one now the count on Nellie. Throw to first. We're not doing anything that time. And that's off the plate. Full three and one the count. And that's outside and low. And uh, he lost him. And Fox goes to first. And here comes Buddy Rosar, who is the uh, backup catcher for the Athletics, um, who is not much of a hitter. I was thinking Bun, then I realized we had two outs, so we're going to have him swing away. There's a strike to Rosar and a ball low. Rosar probably should be hitting ninth. One and two the count on him now. There's a ground ball over to Boudreaux, who uh, does it himself to the bag. And we go to the top of the third inning. It'll be Ken Keltner up there now to face uh, Brissy. He takes a ball and then another ball. 2-0 and the count. It's kind of been rare for Brissy today. 3-0, and and he's going to lose him. There's a strike. It's 3-1, and one, and that fastball misses inside. So Brissy does lose him. Two walks today, and he's thrown nothing but strikes. How about that? Larry Doby takes a good strike in there. Owen won the count. There's another strike. It's 0-2 on him. Just inside. 1-2 and two the count now on Doby, and that fastball misses. It's 2-2. Two and two. There's ball three, and that makes it a full count. And that's hit foul. Full count remains. It's foul back. Full count still on Doby. That's ball four just high. So he's walked two in a row now. Brissy has, and that'll bring a blue Boudreaux. Not what you want to do. A little ground ball over to Juiced, who throws to first, grabs it, throws to first for the out. Both Kellner and Doby moving on that play, and uh, that sets up uh, Cleveland with uh, runners on at second and third. 
and uh, one out here in the top of the third, and uh, we're going to move this infield in just in case. There's a uh, ball high to Gordon, and another one high, two and no the count. There is a strike. It's two and one now on Joe Gordon. That's high and outside, three and one the count on him. It's fouled straight back, and so now the count is full. And it's just a little bit low, and that loads the bases, and so we'll have the infield in here on the corners, and here is Mickey Vernon. And there's a uh, ground ball up the middle for a base hit. So uh, we don't get the double play out of that one. Vernon gets a single and drives in two, and it's 2-0 Cleveland, just like that. And up next is Dale Mitchell. Runners on at first and second. Still only one out, top the third, and Brissy is going to be in there for a while because we don't have much of a bullpen. Uh, foul ball by Dale Mitchell now. The count on him quickly, one and two, and there's one off the plate. Two and two the count now on Dale. Full count now is that one missed. Lined into right field for a base hit through Fox and Fane, and it's going to be Moses coming up throwing, trying to get Gordon to the plate, and his throw is down there. Rosar grabs it, makes the tag, and he's out. So uh, two outs now in the top of the third. Still runners on at first and second for Bob Kennedy. The score remains 2-0 Cleveland. Kennedy takes a ball high and then a strike. 1-1 one one is the count on him. And that off-speed delivery is in there for a ball. It's 2-1 and one now on Bob. He swings and misses that fastball, two and two the count. There's one hit to right field in the gap, and that will score Vernon, and Mitchell goes all the way to third base. Moses couldn't get the ball um, home in time for that one, and that'll bring up Mike Tresh, bottom or top of the third, uh, hitting eighth in the order is what I was trying to say. And there's a strike, high strike to Tresh, 0-1 the count. That's fouled away, it's 0-2. That's foul back, still 0-2. That's outside, 1-2 and two the count now on Mike. And that is low, 2-2 two and two now the count. And there's one hit over to the left side, and uh, Eddie Juice has it, throws over, flips over, rather, to Nellie Fox covering the bag at second, and we go to the bottom of the third. Five hits, they've all belonged to Cleveland. They have a 3 nothing lead as Lou Brissy, the pitcher, comes up. Hitting 267, not too bad so far this year. 2-0 and now, the count on him. And uh, the next pitch in there is a ground ball over to third base, and Keltner grabs it, throws to first, not in time. Brissy, who's slow, beats that one out for the first Philadelphia hit. Maybe that'll get him a boost as we look at Eddie Juiced. And there's a line drive just foul past Keltner. Oh, and one the count now in Juiced. One and one as that was high. And that's outside. Two and one the count now in Eddie. And swinging a miss at that one is two and two. Driving to right field, and that's into the alley, and that will bounce all the way to the wall. And uh, we're going to try to score Brissy. And he goes around, and uh, he scores, just gets around Tresh's tag. So Brissy, not a great runner, ends up scoring the uh, run around the tag of Tresh, and that makes this a 3-1 to -one ball game. And here's Elmer Vallo, big double by Eddie Juiced. And there's a ball inside to Vallo, 1-0 the count, and there's ball 2 to him, 2-0. Long fly ball to center field, and left center field, rather. That goes all the way to the wall, and Vallo keeps going until he hits third base. That's a triple, scores the run, and it is a 3-2 to -two ball game. Just like that, this has all happened very quickly. Here now, Hank Majeski with the runner on a third base. Nobody out, bottom of the third, and there's a strike in there to Hank. High and inside for a ball, 1-1 one one the count. That's way inside on him, 2-1, and one. and that is inside again. 3-1 and one now the count on Majeski. And that swung on a miss, and we think that he may have uh, chased ball four there. It's academic now, so uh, full count now on uh, Hank Majeski. A little ground ball over to second base. And uh, we're going to let uh, Vallo stay at third, and Gordon looks him back and throws over to first for the out, one away. And here is Wally Moses. Moses takes the ball high, 1-0, and oh, the count on him, and there's a strike. It's 1-1. One and, one. and there's a line drive single to right field. Moses uh, comes through, and that uh, ties this game at three. Four hits for the Athletics all in this inning. Only one out, and here's Ferris Fain uh, with the runner on at first. There's a ball to Fain, 1-0, oh, the count. Next pitch, and they're off the plate. Another ball, 2-0, and oh, and that's high. 3-0 and oh, now the count on Ferris Fane. We're going to take all the way, and there's ball 4, just as I thought. And so uh, Papish has lost him three walks here so far in this game. Papish had a really good start to this one. Through the uh, second, he had less than 20 pitches, and all of a sudden, he's really laboring. Here's Sam Chapman. There's a strike in there to Chapman. It's 0-1 oh, on him. And there's a strike of the knees. 0-2 oh, the count now on Sam. There's a ball just low, 1-2. And uh, that one is low, two and two. It's inside now, full count on Chapman. Prappish is going to lose him again. Now there's a ground ball over to second base, and um, it is uh, Gordon who has that one, flips to Boudreaux for one, and then on to uh, Vernon at first four, the double play. We go to the top of the four, three, three ball game now, though. The Athletics have come back pretty well, and here is Brissy pitching to Papish, and there's a little fly ball to uh, Wally Moses and right for the first out. That'll bring up Ken Kellner. He takes a ball high, one and oh, the count. That's another one high, it's two and oh. Brissy few more pitches. Uh, that's number 70 that just came through. As that was a ground ball to Nellie Fox, who threw to first four. The out, two away, and it's Larry Doby who takes a ball. Uh, another one off the plate, 2-0 no the count. So the strikes have gone missing, and it's 3-0 oh now on Doby. 
There is finally is a strike into him. Three and one the count. There's a fastball in there for a strike. It's a full count there on Larry Doby, and that is a ball high, and he loses him, and uh, that'll bring up Lou Boudreau with a runner on at first, and it's a curve outside. Pop-up foul. One and one the count now on Boudreau. That's high again. It's two and one now on Lou. Ground ball to the right side, and uh, Fox has that one, throws the first four. The out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Nelly Fox up there takes the ball. One and zero oh is the count now on Nelly. Pop up over to right field, and Kennedy's got that for the out. One away, and it's Buddy Rosar up, who uh, takes a strike inside corner. 0-1 oh the count on Rosar. There's another foul ball straight back. 0-2 oh the count. Fouls another one back. It remains 0-2. Oh That's a fly ball over to left field, and uh, Mitchell has that for the out. Two away. Lou Brissy's up there again now. Takes the ball. And little ground ball over to Boudreau. The shortstop throws to first. We go to the top of the fifth. Joe Gordon now the hitter for Cleveland. He takes a strike, breaking ball. There's one hit over to right field, and that one bounces in there uh, between Chapman and Moses. Chapman runs over and grabs that finally. Gordon in there with the double, and that'll bring up uh, Mickey Verdon. 82 pitches already for Brissy. I know that we don't care too much about pitches here in 1949. There's a little uh, ground ball over to, or bunt rather, to Majeski by uh, Vernon over to... Uh, Left side, like I said, to Majeski. Throws over to first to Anelli Fox for the out. Gordon moves up to uh, third with only one out. And here's Dale Mitchell. We have the infield in. And uh, there's a uh, ball inside. Want to know the count. We don't care too much about pitch counts here, but we do care about it to an extent because that's what fatigue's based on in Diamond Mind. And Mitchell ends up getting a uh, base hit over into right center field. That scores the runner, and it's a 4-3 ball game in favor of Cleveland. And here is Bob Kennedy again, who swings and misses. He's one for one today. There's a ball off the plate, one and one the count on him, and there's a strike, one and two now on Kennedy. Change up is wide, two and two. That's high, full count now on Kennedy. And that's dumped over down the uh, first base line, and that's going to be a base hit. Mitchell gets over to third base, and uh, Cleveland is cooking again. Here is Mike Tresh. Tresh is one for two today. Runners on first and third, and he hits that one straight on past Brissy for a base hit. Kennedy goes to second, and that scores the run, and it's 5-3 to three now, uh, Cleveland. And here is Frank Pappish. Only one out still top of the fifth. Pappish bunting takes a strike and uh, takes the ball high. One and one the count now on Frank. That's down the third baseline. Goes, uh, Majeski has it. Goes over to Fox, covering it first for the out. The two runners move up. There's two away, and here is Ken Kellner. And uh, Kellner takes the ball high. One and oh is the count on him. There's a uh, pitch hit over into the air to right field. Moses has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Now it is uh, 5-3 Indians, though, now, and um, up comes Eddie Juiced, and the Athletics have their uh, work cut out for them. There's a strike in there to Eddie and a ball. One and one the count. Juiced one for two today and uh, two for three now as that was hit into the hole um, in the left side uh, for a base hit, and that'll bring up Elmer Vallo. Now we did this, I think, last time. Here comes uh, Juiced running on this, and he picks up his fifth steal of the season. I think I showed you this before. Yeah, look at that. He had two steals, one time caught in real life. So far, he's had six attempts, five stolen bases, one time caught in Diamond Mind. And uh, Vallo is up there now with uh, Juiced on it. Second, there's a ball, uh, ball to Vallo, 2 0 the count, and that is in there for a ball again. It's 3 0. We'll take this one. There's the strike. 3 1 the count now on Elmer. And that catches the corner. Full count now on Vallo, and he takes ball four high and outside, and that'll bring up Hank Majeski now with runners on at first and second. 5 3 Indians, bottom of the fifth. Uh, this game uh, was uh, quiet at first and has become very, very loud very, very quickly. Um, and there's a ball low uh, to uh, Majeski, 1 0 the count. That's foul back. It's 1 1 on Hank. It's hit over to shortstop. Boudreau has it. Flips to uh, Gordon at second, then on to uh, Vernon for another uh, Cleveland double play. Uh, Juiced makes it over to third base on that one, and that'll bring up Wally Moses. And uh, Moses takes the ball inside, 1 0 the count, and there's one in there for a strike in the zone. 1 1 the count on Moses. The ball to him again, 2 and 1, and there's one hit over to right field. Crowd was going nuts on that one, but Kennedy was camped under the whole time for the out. We go to the top of the six, and it's Larry Doby. Almost 100 pitches here for Brissy as he keeps walking, guys. Five walks uh, so far in this one. Two and no the count on Doby. Two and one as that one was finally in the zone, and that one misses inside. It's three and one on Doby. Fouls that one back. Full count on him, and that one misses, and that's walk number six given up by Brissy in uh, five, and, uh, five total innings so far. And what do we have here? Lou Boudreau comes up, and uh, he lays one down the first base line, and Rosard, uh, the uh, catcher's on top of it, throws over to Fain, the first baseman, and uh, Boudreau beats the throw to the bag. And that's a, a drag bunt base hit for Lou Boudreau. That'll bring up Joe Gordon now. Runners on at first and second. The Indians trying to add to their lead. There's a ball inside to Gordon. One and another count, and then a strike. It's one and one. It's one fouled straight back. One and two now the count on Joe. 
That's low. It's two and two on him. And there's a changeup that bounces, and there's a full count on Joe Gordon, and he fouls that one, but uh, Rosar can't hold on. And Gordon goes to first base as Brissy's walked him, and uh, Philadelphia is really in trouble here. Let's see what we can do. Um, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Let's see, we'll probably take Moses out and try for a double switch is what I'm guessing we're going to have to do. I mean, this is the thing. We don't have anybody to play, right? I mean, who are we going to put in, right? You have to have a pitcher for their next game, which I assume is going to be uh, Marchilden. We can't put Scheiben. We can't put Kilner, and he already pitched today. So we got Bubba Harris or Bill uh, McCann. And, um, you know, Harris is probably the one that you would think you would want to put in there. We could probably put either one in, but I think we're going to do Harris. Well, if Harris come over here, hit fourth. The problem, though, with doing this so early because it's only the sixth inning is that if uh, the Athletics get out of this, we're likely going to have a situation where uh, we're going to have to uh, have a uh, uh, another pitcher come in. So uh, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> we'll find out. Bases loaded, nobody out, top of the sixth inning. We're going to let the infield play back here as Mickey Vernon's up there. Here comes Bubba Harris with his 5.40 ERA, and there's a strike in there to Vernon. It's 0-1. It's off the plate for a ball. 1-1 the count. That's fouled back. It's 1-2 now on Mickey. Pitch is inside, 2-2. Two and two. Another pitch fouled back, still 2-2, two and two. and there's a uh, fly ball over to center field. Chapman has it. That was too shallow for uh, Larry Doby to score. One away, and here comes Dale Mitchell. Double play gets us out of this. Mitchell, 5 for 7 in the series, hitting very well. There's a strike to him, and then there's that double play ground ball, but Juice can't get to it. That's up the middle for a base hit. Everybody advances one base. It's now 6-3 to three Cleveland, and here comes Bob Kennedy. Kennedy up there now uh, takes a strike. 0-1 is the count. That's foul back. It's 0-2 on Bob. It's inside for a ball. 1-2 and two the count now on him. That's off the plate. Now it's 2-2, two and two, and there's a ground ball over to uh, Eddie Juice, who flips to Fox for one, and then on to uh, Ferris Fain for the double play. So the Athletics do get out of it. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning, and it's only a three-run uh, lead for the Indians. Ferris Fain hits the first ball he sees over to uh, Larry Doby in center field for the out. One away, and Sam Chapman's up there. Ground ball to third base, and um, it's uh, Pappish actually off the mound. The pitcher throws over to first. It's a bad throw, but Vernon goes and grabs it, finds the bag, two away. And here's Nelly Fox, who takes a strike. Finally, somebody decides to watch a pitch. Then a ball, one and one the count. That's high. Two and one the count now on Fox, and there's another pitch high, three and one. And that's very high again, and Fox goes to first base. He's walked twice today, five walks for Pappish. Nobody can strike anyone out. And here comes Buddy Rosar, um, not exactly the hitter I went up in this situation. He takes the ball, though, outside, and that's in the dirt. 2-0 oh, the count now, and Rosar is 0 for 2 today. It's inside for a ball. Pappish has thrown, I think, uh, seven straight balls, and there's a strike in there to him, 3-1 and one the count. That's barely on the outside corner. Full count now on Rosar, and that's low for ball four with two outs. That'll bring up Taffy Wright. Taffy Wright, the uh, current uh, right fielder for Philadelphia who came into this game and is hitting in the number nine uh, hole, hitting 500 so far this season with one home run. So let's see what he can do for us. There's a, a ball outside, 1-0 the count on Wright. That's pulled between first and second base. Gordon has it, and he throws over to Fernand at first for the out. We go to the top of the seventh. Here comes Mike Tresh up against Bubba Harris, and there's a strike in there to a Harris, 0-1 the count. And that's low. One and one the count now on Harris. Ball two to him. Two and one. And that's inside and misses. It's three and one now on Bubba. There is a uh, strike in there. Full count now on Harris. That's fouled away. Full count remains. Line shot towards right center field. And uh, Chapman uh, is able to cut that one off. That'll hold Tresh only to a single. And that'll bring up Frank Papish with a runner on at first base. Papish staying in there. And he bunts. Bunts that one, good bunt over to the pitcher, Harris, who has to go to first with it. Tresh moves to second. So there's one away, and here's Ken Kellner. Ground ball over to the left side. Juiced as that one looks uh, tr uh, Tresh back to the bag and throws to first for the out. Two away, and Larry Doby's up. There's a ball in there to Doby. One and oh the count. And there's the strike to him. One and one. Let's head over to right center field. Right fielder right has that for the out, and uh, that's got a ring to a dozen. Now we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It's Eddie Juiced up there again. Juiced two for three today. With that uh, stolen base, of course, and with one run scored, one run bounded in, he takes a ball and then hits one between Mitchell and Doby for another double, and uh, that'll bring up Elmer Vallo. Juice today, three for four, hitting very, very well. Of course, we want to lead off with him. Elmer Vallo's up there now, and uh, he has problems against lefties. One for two, though, today. He takes a ball. And there's a grounder to the uh, left side. Kellner has it and uh, throws over to first, just not in time, and Juice... Uh, takes advantage of uh, Kellner's lack of attention to his own bag and moves over to third base. So uh, 
the uh, athletics of runners on the corners with nobody out here in the bottom of the seventh. That brings up Hank Majeski, and he's a potential tying run. He takes a strike. Owen won the count on him, and there's a pop-up foul out of play. Owen two. That hits the corner, but it's called a ball. One and two the count, and that's high. Two and two now the count on Hank. There's a swing and a miss of that one. He strikes out. I think that's the first strikeout we've seen all game, and that'll bring up the pitcher spot, Bubba Harris. Remember I told you that this was the problem that we had because – we kind of need to pinch hit for him. We don't want the pitcher to uh, come up in this type of situation, and so we're going to do it. It's going to be uh, Todd Davis we're going to put in here. I don't know. He hasn't done much. He's uh, hitting 167, so one for six. Um, and uh, we're going to hit and run here with Valo and see what happens. And there's a swing and a miss of that one. That's not what you want to see. And uh, Valo ends up beating that one, gets a stolen base, and so there's runners on his second and third now. One strike on Davis, and he takes another strike. It's 0-2, and that's in there on the corner. Got him looking. Well, we could have stayed with Harris. He could have done the same thing. Two away. Here's Ferris Fain, and there's a swing and a miss by Fain. 0-1 oh, is the count to Ferris, and uh, swings and misses. That one swings, spins all the way around for that. 0-2 oh, the count on him. There's a liner over second base, but uh, Doby uh, runs in a little bit, grabs that one on the fly, and we go to the uh, bottom or top rather of the eighth inning. And it's going to be McCann who comes in to pitch. And he's going to have to hit in that four spot again. And uh, so here comes uh, Lou Boudreau for the Indians up against Bill McCann, who uh, hasn't done very much here. And uh, all he does is hits uh, Boudreau with the first pitch. Lou gets up. He looks like he's okay and ends up going down to first base. And up comes Joe Gordon. Remember, no helmets in 1949. There's a strike in there to Joe. There's a ground ball to the hole on the right side. Fox has that flips over to uh, Juice for one on to Fana first for the double play. One pitch, two outs, and here's Mickey Vernon, who takes a uh, ball high. Want to know the count? There's one low. It's 2-0 oh on Mickey. It's fouled back, 2-1 and one the count on him. Ground ball over to short. Juice has it, throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It will be Sam Chapman up there. Chapman takes a ball high and inside. Want to know the count? And that's outside. It's 2-0. and oh. Outside again, 3-0 oh the count now on Chapman. And there's a strike on the inside corner. It's 3-1 and one on him. There's a check swing foul. Full count now, Sam Chapman, and that's popped up. Keltner, third baseman, has that for the out. One away. Nully Fox now comes up there. Fox has taken uh, two walks so far today, and he's got a 2-0 count on him. 3-0 and now quickly, and let's see if he takes ball four. Now that's a strike. 3-1 the count on Fox. Full count now on him. That's fouled away. Full count remains. And that's just wide, so Fox does work the walk. Seven walks given up today by Frank Papish, including three to Nelly Fox. Here comes Buddy Rosar with a runner on at first base, only one out. Takes a strike. Let's have Fox run here. And it's hit to the right side, and Fox uh, was running well. That was uh, Vernon who made the play, flips over to Papish at first for the out. Fox makes, makes it to second base. Two away now for Taffy uh, Wright. And uh, Taffy takes a ball low, and then a strike. One and one the count. That's fouled away, one and two now. There's a pop-up over to the left side. Mitchell has that for the out. We go to the top of the ninth. And uh, it will be Dale Mitchell up there. And uh, Mitchell takes a, a ball inside, fastball, and then hits that one over to right center field. Uh, right goes over, grabs that for the out. One away. It's Bobby Kennedy up there. And he takes the ball high. Want to know the count now on Bobby. And a strike, one and one. That's in close for a ball, two and one the count. That's up the middle for a base hit. So Kennedy now three for four today. Cleveland has had quite a few hits, 13 hits in this ball game. Here is Mike Tresh, who takes a ball high. And uh, a strike high that time, one and one the count on him. And there's a single to left field. And that puts uh, runners on first and second here for the Indians. Bill McCann having a hard time not giving up those hits. Here's Frank Pappish. And yeah, he's uh, going to bunt here, it looks like, and he'll stay in. The pop-up over to Majeski, the third baseman. So Frank definitely doesn't do his job with that one, and that'll bring up Ken Keltner. Top of the ninth, runners on first and second, and there's a strike in there to Ken. And a ball, one and one the count. And that's high and outside. It's two and one on Keltner. Fastball's inside, three and one the count. There's a bouncer up the middle, pass juice for a base hit. Here comes Kennedy around third trying to score. Here comes Chapman's throw, and uh, he slides, didn't have to, though. The throw was uh, way late, and that makes it 7-3 to three for Cleveland, and up comes Larry Doby. So I think that abandons any idea we had of this being a close game. 1-1 one one the count now on Doby. The fly ball over to left center field. Chapman can't get there in time. That's a single for Doby. Scores one and sends Kellner to third. It's 8-3 to three now, and up comes Lou Boudreau. McCann uh, made his bed left the line. At 1-1 one one the count now on Boudreau. There's a looper in there to shallow center, and that's another base hit. And there are runners now on at first and second, nine to three Cleveland, and it's Joe Gordon. 
That's looped over to left field for another base hit, and uh, we're going to try to get Doby at the plate. And nope, he's safe, and that makes it 10-3. to You're wondering why McCann's still in there. We don't have anyone else to put in. There's a strike to Vernon and a ball. One and one the count now on Mickey. There's a pop-up over to uh, the uh, left side. Eddie Juice goes over and grabs that for the out. Four runs, whoever scored by Cleveland in the top of the ninth, and that'll bring up uh, Eddie Juice here in the bottom of it. Eddie Juice up there takes the strike. Uh, three for four today. Hits a little ground ball to third base. Uh, third base side. Papish fields it well this time. Throws to first for the out. One away. And that brings up Elmer Vallo, who's two for three today. So we have five hits from the first uh, two spots here in the Philadelphia lineup. Two and one the count on Vallo. That's low. Three and one. That's low and inside. And uh, Elmer walks for the second time today. And here's Hank Majeski, who's got a big old goose egg sitting there. 0 for four. Ten to three Indians. And there's a ball to Majeski. And a foul tip. One and one the count now on Hank. It's off the plate. Two and one the count. And that's inside for a ball. So here we'll have Majeski take. And uh, looks at ball four. That puts runners on at first and second now with uh, one out. Bottom of the ninth. And um, up comes the new pitcher spot. McCann is going to be taken out. We're not going to have to have another pitcher in this inning, I'm guessing, or in this game. And Suter makes sure of that by hitting a ground ball down to Joe Gordon. He flips to Boudreaux for one and on back to Vernon at first for the double play. That does it. So Cleveland gets revenge after their big loss in the first game, win this one 10-3 to with 18 hits. And uh, that's your final score. I sure hope you've enjoyed this game, and we'll see you tomorrow with more action. Bye.